Hello, dears. Welcome to Beauty by Heart. I'm Dilling as nice Lulu. Today, I'm going to share with you, dears, my Stavana Collab PR products review. I am surprised and grateful that Stavana reached out to me and asked me to review these products. Earlier this year, I've already eyed one of these products, and this is my blessing to have it here. So, in this video, I'll be sharing with you, dears, my review, the swatches, demo, and the most recommended products. So hopefully this video is informative enough for you and can help to serve as a guideline for you dears. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe. For all of you dears who are watching my video right now, thank you so much for watching. It's my blessing to have you dears here. By the end of the video, please share with me in the comment section below. What are the Korean beauty products have you tried? The best comment will be featured in my upcoming videos. Thank you so much and now let's get started. <laughs> Just in case you guys haven't heard of Stavana, Stavana is a one-stop online website that offers Asian beauty products like the Taiwanese beauty products, the Korean and the Japanese beauty products. What I love about them is that they have separated a vegan and a cruelty-free section for us to choose. That really helps to solve a lot of headaches from my side because I only use cruelty-free makeup products and have been using them for since 2017 and for Korean and Japanese makeup, I find that sometimes it's very very difficult to find the cruelty free status of the brand because sometimes they can be cruelty free at this point of time but the next minute they are not because they are selling in China. And with the recent China's new change that they already uplift the law, the animal testing law for general products, I don't find any changes in the cruelty free status. So I have a lot of headaches. And I find that even for some website like Logical Harmony, the Leaping Bunny website, they are not so updated in terms of the Asian makeup products, especially so when every few other minutes there's a new brand coming out. So with this cruelty-free and vegan section over here at Stavana, it helps me to select my makeups easier. And currently, Stavana sent to the US, the Canada, Malaysia, Singapore, and Russia. And for customers who are located in the UK, Canada, Australia, and France, please check their website. I will provide their shipping link in the description box below so that you dears can directly refer to it. And this link will direct you to your location to place your order. And for Malaysia and Singapore shipping, when we ordered a purchase amount of above 35 USD, our shipping will be free. Other than that, then we need to pay a 399 USD shipping fee. And for you dears who are staying in the remote area, there will be an extra charge of 25 USD. Again, please refer to their link for more information. I'm very grateful that Stavana reached out to me. Actually, I'm wondering how they come to know about my channel because I'm such a nano small channel and I'm really curious how does this company know the existence of my channel. <laughs> Anyways, they reached out to me and their answers and responses are very quick and very prompt and they are very kind to give me a list of makeup products and I'm telling them that my channel is a cruelty-free makeup channel and then they quickly changed all the list to cruelty-free options within a few minutes. They are so fast! I really appreciate they are taking this effort to change to the cruelty-free makeup items and to my surprise, after three calendar days of our corresponding through emails, they are actually sending the parcel through DHL. So amazing! And that's why I give them a great thumbs up for their service. I've used all these products once before during this week, except for this primer, which I will touch on later. I use it actually a lot of time. And today is the second time I'm using them. So a lot of products are still new to me, so I intend to do a follow-up video next time round. Pardon me for my abnormal skin condition because I've been feeling feverish throughout this week. I don't know why. I'm still feeling feverish right now. I'm not so sure is it because of the vaccine, but I've already taken vaccine for one whole week. 
then the feverish occurred or is it because of the rain I went through? <laughs> I did a vlog about it. So that day, basically when we went out, we didn't take umbrella and we are out in the rain for almost the whole day. And when we are indoor, we are in the shopping mall with air condition. So imagine wet and cold, wet and cold. That's probably trigger the headache and also fever. So that's why I find that my skin actually look very crispy. And I don't know, is it just me or what? I also find that my face look darker now. <laughs> uh, that's why today I'm pouring a lot of hydrating products and skincare on my skin because I need to face the camera. Stavana wanted to send me this, but I've already owned this. So I asked them not to send me so as not to waste money. <laughs> I already bought this space for almost 2 years and be using this on and off and that's the only product I use more than twice. The product is described as This glowing base gives a skin a healthy glow and an SPF 50+, PA++++ sun protection. Use it alone or as a primer before makeup. So for my user experience, this comes with a white lotion with moderate thickness. It blends out and spreads well and easily. It gives my skin a pearlized, illuminating finish on the skin and after applying this, my skin looks glowy and hydrated. As I mentioned just now, I find that my recent skin condition looks so crispy and dehydrated. So when I apply this, I feel that my skin is much more hydrated and once our skin is more hydrated, our pores look more refined and smoother. This also helps to reduce the look of my texture and the bumpiness on my skin. It is slightly scented, but I don't remember smelling it on the face at all. Since I'm using this for almost 2 years, each time I use this, I feel that it reminded me of another product. And today, I finally realized what product is that which is the Charlotte Tilbury Glow. Okay, let me just show you. As you just probably see from the demo just now, once this spread out, it gives a very pearlized and very glowy look on the skin. So this area here is the part where I'm using this Hamish base. I'm now going to compare it to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter which is also a very illuminating base. So I'm using a tissue to wipe. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury I just put a bit over here. Okay, no doubt Charlotte Tilbury one is tinted and the Hamish one is with a white base. But I find that when I blend this out on the skin, the two give very very similar glow and finish on the skin. Both are scented, but Charlotte Tilbury one doesn't smell as strong as the Hamish one. Okay, so this part here is the Charlotte Tilbury one and this part here is the Hamish one. Both look very glowy. So, my advice is for you dears who wants a very glowy look and really wants this Charlotte Tilbury glow but don't want to spend the kind of money on such an expensive product, then you may want to consider this Hamish Atlas Glow Base. I love the performance of this BB cream, but not the colour. <laughs> okay, let me just read out the product description first. This BB cream provides a natural and radiant finish, protects from both UVA and UVB rays, and strengthens the skin barrier. It gently absorbs into the skin and has a long-lasting formula. This product does not contain artificial fragrances, essential oils and harmful ingredients which can cause irritation, making it great for people with all skin types including sensitive skin. For my user experience, I like the performance of this BB cream but not the colour. <laughs> Let's talk about the colour first. There are three colours available. So usually for K-beauty products, especially for the face makeup, I find that the colour range is very very limited. It's either two or three colours available. So usually I will choose number 23 which is a natural beige because I find that the number 21 usually is too light on me 
and otherwise it will be too rosy on me this brand Purito is very new to me and I'm not so sure about their color so I chose this number 23 natural beige I thought this color should be closer to my skin tone but when I squeeze out the amount onto the back of my palm and apply this on the face I was very surprised to see that this BB cream has a very strong grey undertone it may not look so on the camera, but in the real person, I look very grey. So that's why I think that the colour look a little off on me. And when I blend this out, I was asking Mr. Kwan, does it seem very grey? And he said that this is very very grey. <laughs> but besides the colour, I really like the glow of this BB cream. It gives my skin a very healthy look and smooth look because right now my skin is not so good but it really helps to smoothen my skin and makes my skin look more hydrated it has a moderate natural coverage that is good enough to hide my dark circle but warning with this bb cream just use a little at a time i squeezed out a generous amount previously and i've spread the cream on my entire face building up to a lot of layers i also need to blend this out on my neck and my hand to use up all the amount I squeeze. So this time round, I'm smarter, I just squeeze out a little at a time. I also love the fact that this is fragrance free and this is ethylene oxide free. Ethylene oxide is a cancer causing substance. So for my personal preference, I will not use this BB cream with the previous Hamish Atlas Glow Base together because it will really make my face seem so illuminating, so dewy and too glowy. I will use them separately instead. Overall, I'm enjoying the performance of this BB cream. I like to use this as a blusher too. <laughs> this Skin Food Soda Mousse Fit Tint has a very moussey, velvety texture. It's moisturizing on the lips and I love the blurry, dreamy, soft watercolor looks of my lips. It feels lightweight and is comfortable on the lips and also helps to reduce the look of my lines. This is transferable so not really advisable to wear this under the surgical mask. And I realized when I apply this too much, the excess amount will stuck onto the lip lines. I will just use my finger to run over the lip tint to solve this issue. So again, for this lip tint, a little goes a long way, so apply a little at a time. It contains fragrance but it doesn't linger on the lips, so I actually don't mind the fragrance. And as a blusher, it actually blends out very easily as shown in the demo. Initially, I thought that this color may be a little too bright as a blusher but once I blend out, it seems natural. And especially so when I cover this with a powder. And now dears, I don't think you can see much on my cheeks now. So in short, I'm enjoying this lip tint on the lips as well as on the cheeks. I have a number of skin food products that I am really enjoying. This powder has a very very simple packaging, simple girlish, and it has this very cute peach peaches over here on the lid. <laughs> and comes with a puff over here which obviously is already dirty. So you just need to twist and turn the lid to open up and then also comes with a sieve over here. When I turn this powder upside down like this, it dispenses a generous amount of powder. So please be careful when you turn the products around. The powder over here is very very silky smooth and it is very very finely milled. It feels very comfortable when I run the fingers together. So, 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 so smooth. You just can't really see my fingerprints, don't you? <laughs> it is just so finely milled. Again, let me just read out the product description first. This is an ultra fine finishing powder that sets foundation to give the skin a flawless airbrush finish. There is micro silicone powder to absorb the oil and sweat for a fresh and matte appearance all day long without the need of constant retouching. There are peach and sake extracts to soothe and comfort sensitive skin, preventing further irritation. And this is suitable for oily and any prone skin types. For my personal use, I find that there is a very strong peachy scent, which makes this powder smell so sweet and because of the scent, 
these powders remind me of the glucose powder of fine sugar. I just feel like I'm applying glucose powder all over my face but without the ends coming after me after a few hours. <laughs> the scent doesn't linger which I'm truly glad because otherwise I will be irritated by the scent. This powder is a white translucent powder which is great to touch up. It gives a matte airbrush finish on the face. But I don't know why on the camera it seems to have a white powdery look on the face but not so much on the mirrors. So if you were to see me in person, you don't see that there is a strong white powdery look. And when I spray the makeup mist, the powdery look on the camera is gone. It adheres a lot onto my skin and seems more natural. So I like to use this powder on my oily T-zone to mattify. So overall, I find that this is a good powder to use and will reach out for it more. To me, this 3-in-1 eyebrow pencil is like a transformer. <laughs> this eyebrow pencil has three parts. This is the spoolie part, it is very soft. And this is the pencil part, which is retractable. And this has a slim triangle tip over here. And then, in between, you need to break it up. There is the powder over here. That's why I find that this is like a transformer. <laughs> there are also instructions given on the box which stated that, okay, I don't know how to read Koreans, but I just follow the pictures and use my common sense. Okay, I think for the powder is to be used at the beginning of the eyebrow over here to soften the look. And the pencil part is to be used from the mid of the eyebrow to the tip and then use the spoolie to smudge out for a softer effect. I actually didn't follow the instruction, I just used as per my usual self. So coincidentally, I'm following the instruction over here. <laughs> I like a precise eyebrow pencil because it helps me to draw a fine eyebrow and I'm avoiding this kind of triangle tips because a lot of times Whenever I use a triangle tip to draw my eyebrows, I always end up with a very thick eyebrow which is so not me and I find that I look like the Crayon Shin-chan. <laughs> this is one of my favorite Japanese anime to watch. But with this 3-in-1 eyebrow pencil, I find that it's so much better than the normal triangle tip pencil I'm using because this has a flatter and a slimmer triangle not so sure if you just can see so it actually helps me to manage and draw on the eyebrow easier and helps me to keep my eyebrows being defined and more delicate so how I use it as shown in the demo I'm using the eyebrow pencil here from the tip and then draw the outline of the eyebrow over here from the mid part to the beginning part and then I'm using the powder over here to fill up the gap and then a spoolie to smudge out for a softer effect. And when I use it for the first time, I'm trying to smudge the eyebrow pencil. Not smudge the eyebrow pencil, I'm spurging my eyebrow and it doesn't seem to move. So let me just try again. It does move a little, smudge a little over here but I need to move my finger a number of times for it to move around. Okay, so let me just erase the moving part here. Okay, again, let me read out the product description first. This product is described to be the 3-in-1 eyebrow wonders at our fingertips. It has a slanted tips eyebrow liner to help to enhance our shape of the eyebrow more steadily, making it sharper and with a more precise end tail. It has easy application and it stays all day and does not fade nor smudge with perspiration. It is infused with hydrating ingredients and will not cause irritation nor dryness to the eye area. It has also macadamia seed oil, apricot seed oil, avocado seed oil, and rosehip fruit oil to moisturize, prevent the dryness, and relax the skin. Wow, so many oil in the eyebrow pencil, I'm surprised. 
and this is available in two colors now which is the ash gray and charcoal brown okay for my personal use i do find that it does match a little as shown in the demo just now but overall i find that it is quite difficult to move and i find that it's so much easier for me to manage this eye brown pencil compared to the other triangle tip eyebrow pencil and so far I am enjoying this eyebrow pencil and will definitely reach out for more and use it more when I was in my 20s I tried some eyeshadow states but after a while it creases on my eyelid and also move around my eyelid so that's why I'm avoiding using eyeshadow stick but since I was given this eyeshadow stick, I already used it once before today and it was a day when I'm feverish <laughs> and I didn't even wash my face. My face is oily over on the teaser and dry and crispy on the yuzun. Crispy sounds so delicious. My eyelid is also oily and I use this straight away. To my surprise, although this has a very creamy texture, I was afraid that this will move around but in fact, it doesn't. It doesn't crease as well and it stays all day on my eyelid. It also claims to be waterproof so now, let me just spray some water onto it. The colour is very natural with some sparkles. It's a champagne colour so hopefully you just can see and I'm going to spray some water here. Uh, and spray it onto myself too. <laughs> this is the area with the eyeshadow. This part here. So let me just smudge a little here. I see that the glitter and the shimmers has moved around and my fingertip is sparkling now. But the majority of it still stays. I don't think you just can really see the colours moving around but it faded a little, just tiny little bit. Although it's not entirely 100% waterproof, most of it still remains onto the back of the hand. And I find that the stick is very convenient to use, very fast to apply, just pump 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 on the eyelid, draw draw draw, and you can also repeat the same steps on the lower eyelid. And ta-da! Your makeup look is done. <laughs> so simple. And because this is in a stick form, this is also very convenient to be carried around. So I find that for dears who are always in a hurry and you need a very fast makeup routine, no time to sit down there for 1-2 hours applying your makeup, I think this stick will really suit your need. So overall, I like the performance of this eyeshadow stick. It doesn't crease, it doesn't move, it doesn't smudge onto my oily eyelids. And this is very fast to apply and it's very convenient. Save time, save effort to think of a makeup look to create. I love this glittery eyeshadow the most out of all these products. <laughs> I was actually eyeing this palette for quite some time since the beginning of the year. And I feel so blessed to receive this. The color story, as you just probably can tell, is my cup of tea. So soft, so sparkly, so romantic, and so girly. The casing is the acrylic clear casing and it feels sturdy. It feels so much sturdier than my ColourPop quartz, which came in broken like this. This is so much of a better quality. The outer sleeve box looks like this with a lot of glitters, prints all over and behind the box there is the colour names over here and the formulas over here. The colour name is not found on the, the palette neither is it found at the back of the palette. So although this palette is small, it's only 9 pence there are 5 different formulas inside this palette and Hamish named their formula differently from the others. Let me start off with the first formula stated at the back of their box, which is their matte pearl base, which is actually a matte with sparkle formula. And there are two colors under this formula. And I'm very surprised the sparkles really stays on the eyes, not like ColourPop. ColourPop 
matte with sparkle formula it is disappointing because every time when we apply the matte with sparkle formula the sparkle will disappear on the eyelid but for this Hamish glitter eyeshadow palette the sparkle will really stay throughout the eyes so this makes a very very beautiful glittery eye to apply only matte with sparkle formula this is a good one for you and the second formula is what Hamish called the Crystal Pearl which to me this is a topper formula it has sheer and translucent color and there are only two colors under this range next is the shimmer glitter to me this is a shimmer with glitter formula the color base is very smooth and shiny and there are also two colors under this range coming up next is the glitter bump point this is what Hamish called them to be but it's actually pressed glitter my experience with this pressed glitter is that when I apply this eye makeup look, I didn't apply the glitter glue. It sticks pretty well. However, some of the glitters does fall out on my face. So this is much better to wear a glitter glue. Or if you don't want to wear the glitter glue, then it will be better for you to wear the eyeshadow makeup first, then the face makeup. And there are two colors under this pressed glitters. There is a color base and this is easy to apply. Sparkly Coral, which is the first color. And this is the color I'm using at the center of my eyelid. Today, this has a much finer glitter. And the second color under this range, which is the Twinkle Berry. This has two kinds of glitter size. One is a fine glitter and the other one is the round and big glitter. And this is the last formula which is the shade shimmer it's actually a shimmer formula and there is only one color which is the woody brown I'm using woody brown at both ends of my eyes today but I find that I'm not so sure is it because the color is quite close to my eyelid color it doesn't really show up so I have to apply many many layers and yet I still can't really see the colors these eyeshadow colors are mildly pigmented it has softer colors but the colors shine brightly and brilliantly very suitable for dears with delicate eyes where applying strong eyeshadow colors will drown the eyes since these colors are softer and shiny it helps to open up the delicate eyes and add liveliness and sparkliness to the eyes So overall, I'm very very happy to try out all these products and now it's a very difficult time for me to choose. If I were to only recommend 3 products, which will they be? It is really difficult because I enjoy all their products, maybe except for the BB cream because of the color that I mentioned just now which has a strong grey under base but I'm still enjoying the performance of the BB cream. Now, which are the 3? One eternity later. Okay, let me just start off with this Hamish Atlas Glow Base. This is actually mine, not sent from them. But they wanted to send me this anyways. I like this because it gives a very glowy base and more hydrated, especially right now my skin is very crispy again. <laughs> I've been repeating this a lot of time and I feel more and more hungry whenever I mention the word crispy. So this is really good to lighten up the skin to make the skin look more glowy and also more hydrated. The next one is also from Hamish because how can I resist the color story? This is so pretty. I mean not for those who are after very strong bold eye makeup looks then this will not be for you. But for those who maybe like me who like a very soft delicate look just like to have a wash of colors and very glittery sparkly look then this is very nice and very beautiful for you and then also followed by this skin food soda mousse lip tint 
it doubles up as a blusher. So I find that this is very versatile. So these are the three most recommended products which I find that it's very difficult for me to choose this time around. I hope that this video is helpful for you dears. And now dears, it's your turn to share with me. What are the Korean beauty products have you tried? Please comment in the comment section below. The best comment will be featured in my upcoming videos. And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. Everybody wants happiness. Nobody wants pain. But you can't have a rainbow without a little rain. Thank you dear so much for watching. If you happen to like this video, please subscribe and click the bell notification button below for my future videos. I love to do beauty products review and if this is your cup of tea, please join in my YouTube family. Also, if you'd like to connect with me more, please visit me at my Facebook and Instagram platform. The address will be on the screen here. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye! Before you go, please check out these two videos over here. Thank you!